Hello there, everybody. Right now, we are listening to testimony from Lamoror. After you perceive at the proper statement, you will get this new statement added to the testimony. So, at this new statement, you want to present the diagram, which proves that she is lying. Thank you, Your Honor. Aw, oh, come on. Can't I be cool and insult people for once? Yeah, so with the door open, she would have been unable to see those bullet holes. So how did you know they were there, Lamroar? Alright, more testimony. Okay, so she saw it through the little window. Which totally contradicts her earlier testimony of saying that she saw it through the doorway. Oh, Lamoror. Fishy? Well, her testimony helps our client, so do we really need to cross-examine her? Yeah, I guess we do. What you want to do is press this statement. She would recognize his voice. All right. However, Apollo doesn't seem to like this testimony, so I'm going to say that it's contradictory. You could also say it's pretty good. Either way, Lamoror is going to get dismissed as a witness.
Oh, there's another contradiction? Oh, you totally stole that from Apollo! Oh, come on, what a thief! The real contradiction is the fact that the little window was closed. Do you guys remember that? The window was closed, uh, you know, when Apollo and uh, Ima went inside the room. Okay, fine. I guess we're going to have to figure out some other way to bring her back to the witness stand. Okay, whatever, let's just get to her testimony, and I'm sure there is something weird about her testimony, some sort of contradiction that we will be able to exploit. Yeah, I remember that, that was weird. Yeah, who did that? Are they claiming that our client did that? Because I don't think he could have lifted up such a huge, heavy man, dragged him so far, and then just, I don't know, fall asleep. Did he fall asleep or was he unconscious? Okay, okay, let's get some testimony. Witness testimony, the missing body. Really? Really? The song lyrics again? Not those song lyrics. Oh, this is so ridiculous! Okay, okay.
I agree, Your Honor. It is completely ridiculous. I know Trucy thinks that's what really happened, but it sounds totally crazy to me. Ah, uh, come on, Apollo. I think you should sing. Show off those vocal cords of steel, you know? You know, let's just press the statement to the testimony. Sugar, sugar, when you stole that night in your embrace. And they totally forget the, uh, you know, next verse. I don't know why they skip verse number two. Here's that video footage. Okay, cool, cool. be there if he's really the killer. Yeah, that was totally whack. I don't believe it. I mean, isn't there like a control device which lifts the stage up and down, and so you kind of have to be not on the stage in order to control it? So doesn't that prove he's not really the person who moved the body? All right, science. How exactly did he set fire to the guitar? Oh, come on, you're totally a diva, Clavier. Ho ho ho! Clavier's looking guilty again! Yes, he wanted to promote his song and he wanted revenge because the victim stole his keys. Okay, this is the statement that you're actually supposed to press. I'll do that in the next video. So let's just skip over that uh, statement for now, and press the final statement, and then I'll end this video.
What does fingerprinting powder have to do with song lyrics? Seriously.